learned so much about God and each other this week. Speaking of fam, someone is calling right now. Hi, Allie. Hey, Callie. What's up? Not much. Just hanging with my fam. Nice. I just called to say that I've been watching your videos and all these stories about legacy is so interesting. Aren't they? Learning about the Holy Spirit this month made me feel closer to everyone else who loves God. It's like we're a happy family. I mean, fam. Definitely. What can we do when we meet people who haven't heard of God or talk about Jesus like we do? That's a good question. I never really thought about that part. What do we say? Exactly. I would want them to be a part of our family too. Hmm. Maybe our Bible story can help give us some answers. It's time for our Bible story. Our story today isn't actually a story. It's more of a crazy cool fact that comes from the book of Romans, chapter 8. The book of Romans was a letter written to the church in Rome by a guy named Paul. Paul didn't start off as a follower of Jesus, but one day he heard God's voice talking to him. After that, Paul decided to turn his life around and tell others about Jesus. Remember we learned how the Holy Spirit came down to a group of people who were praying together? They received power to speak in other languages and to bravely tell others the good news about Jesus. This gift of the Holy Spirit was a brand new thing for people to hear about. And Paul was trying to explain just how great a gift it was. Can you think of the best gift you've ever received? The amazing gift that Paul was explaining to people in Rome was that because of the Holy Spirit, God had adopted them. And how he adopts us, it's a different kind of family. This new family is where people might not be related to each other, but they are all loved by the same God. Pretty great, huh? You may say, hey, I already have a family, but because of the Holy Spirit, we belong to a much bigger family, and we are called children of God. The Holy Spirit does this for us. The Holy Spirit helps us know that we are children of God. We are brothers and sisters loved by God, forgiven through Jesus, and being helped by the Holy Spirit. And because of what Jesus did, we also get to share another great gift, which is a life connected with God forever. It doesn't mean that things will always be easy. Paul wrote in this letter to the church in Rome that being children of God means they might sometimes face hard things. And we might too sometimes, but we don't go through it alone. We have our forever family that will be with us because the Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. I like this story, but it makes me think. If I want others to be part of God's family, then I should treat others like they are already family, right? How will they know how loved they are unless we love them? Good thoughts, Callie. Even if some people don't know about Jesus yet, we can still love them like they are already part of the family because God loves them. You're 100% right, Allie. It was fun hanging out with you today, Callie. It's always an adventure. It was fun hanging out with you too. Thanks for being my fam, Allie. Bye for now. Well, I've got to go now. But I love being in one big happy family with you. We are all God's children. Even though we are different and unique, the Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. Thanks for being a legacy, my friends. Tune in next time for more Growing Together. Peace!